Determining the limit of a function. Using the tabular method. So, our objectives for this lesson is to by using the tabular method. Consider the linear function f of x equals 2x minus 3. Let us say that we want to determine the limit of f of x as x approaches 1. This means that we are interested in looking at the behavior of the function of f as the values of x get closer and closer to the number 1. Table 1 shows the values of x approaching the number 1 from the left. That is, the values are getting closer to 1, but they are all less than 1. How do the values of y equals f of x behave as a result? Here is 0, and here is 2x minus 3. With that, you get negative 3. 0 0.5 and 2x minus 3, you get negative 2. And so on, so forth. Negative 1.5 negative 1.4, negative 1.2, negative 1.02, and negative 1.002. Notice that they get closer to negative 1. Let's move on to table 2. In table 2, we make the values of x approach 1 from the right. This time, the values of x are getting closer and closer to 1, but they are all greater than 1. Then, in table 2, we have 2 and 2x minus 3. And with that, we get 1. 1. 1.5 and 2x minus 3, we get 0, and so on and so forth. Negative 0. 0.5, negative 0. 0.8, negative 0. 0.98, and lastly, negative 0 0.998 and notice that they all go to negative 1. In the two tables, we observe that the values of x approach 1 from both the left and right. The values of f of x also approach negative 1. Hence, we say that negative 1 is the limit of f of x equals 2x minus 3 as x approaches 1. In mathematical symbols, we write it as In the general expression that the limit of f of x equals L as x approaches A. For our last example, follow me. Take f of x equals x squared plus 2. In table 1, we have the values of x approach 0 from the left. So, negative 1 and x squared plus 2, we get 3. Negative 0 0.5 and x squared plus 2, we get 2.25, and so on and so forth. 2.0625, 2.01, 2.0001, and 2.0000001. Notice that the values of x go to 2. Let's move on to table 2. In table 2, we have positive 1 and x squared plus 2 which we get 3, 0 0.5, 2.25, 0 0.25, 2.0625, and so on and so forth. 
2.0001 and 2.0001. And just like table 1, the values of x all go to 2. Hence, we can say that the limit of f of x equals x squared plus 2 is 2. But always remember that the limit of f of x in one table is different from the other, and the limit does not exist. D and E. And now, here are a few exercises for you to practice on your own. No cheating! Thanks for watching. We hope you learned something today. Bye.